Right, that bet is going to be a very interesting video because this is what I just realized. Uh, before we start, let me tell you just a little story. When I was born, by the way, it was in Russia. I'm a Russian man who have been living in the USA for like five years. So this is why you can hear my accent. And also I do a lot of mistakes, but I don't give a shit. Right, so if you're just interested, keep watching until the end. So when I was born, I was like a very weak, very emotional. I wasn't even like a girl, I would say, because right now when I just look at my pictures, I don't feel like I was a man. I didn't know why. Probably because my father, he was like good enough for me. I mean, of course, he used to give me some advices how to be better in life, how to do this, how to do that. But I didn't see him like a very masculine, very big figure in my life. So probably if you don't, you know, have a father right now, or you didn't have a father in your childhood, right? You just have a single mom who was raising you. So probably you feel what I'm talking about right now. I used to live with my parents for 25 years. I was skinny. I was very naive again, right? I was like very emotional man. And every girl that I date with were cheating on me. Probably I broke up just with one girl or just two girls. I don't really remember right now. But anyway, I was like too sensitive. I was like too needy. Always trying to chase the woman around me. Like, hey, let me do this so you can like me for this. Let me please you so we can... Right, I uh, give it some attention, some validation, the stuff like that. Right now I'm 31 years old and this is what I realized. This is not enough just to be good at one thing. I'm talking about bodybuilding, I'm talking about money making, I'm talking about social skills, I'm talking about the knowledge you have or how much experience you are and the stuff like that. So this is what you need to understand and the sooner you understand it, the better you will be in the future. When I just started going to the university, Again, I was like very skinny. And this is why I started going to the gym. I finally see some results. And I finally started getting some attention from, you know, the people around me. I'm talking about men, I'm talking about women also. Because, you know, when you just go into the gym, this is very funny. You feel like, okay, I'll get a lot of attention from women. But the reality is that your guys, your friends, keep giving you a lot of compliments. Like, hey, bro, I mean, look at your back, look at your chest. I mean, you have improved. This is really amazing. So, yeah. It was very funny because I started getting a lot of attention from male, not just from females. And this is one of the best decisions that I made so far in my life. Because can you just imagine this kind of guy? I'm like 20 years old. I look skinny, right? I am not rich at all. I still live with my parents. I don't have a car. I don't have anything. I didn't even have an iPhone. I mean, I used to use some kind of Android that, you know, I just bought for like little money. I wasn't smart, I didn't have a beard, I wasn't masculine because my face, it looked like I was a girl or just look at me, I mean, I was like very naive. I didn't know it. Why did I have this kind of face? But anyway, so I just started going to the gym and then I realized that the people around me, I'm talking about the guys of my age, they look different now because I see how big my shoulders are. I see my arms are growing. I see my backs. Uh, you know, it's growing right now. And the people around me just don't look the same. And it was like this. I just realized that just because I go to the gym regularly, just because I'm really disciplined at working out, I'm eating a lot of food and stuff like that, I finally start getting a lot of attention from women. I'm talking about young women. I'm talking about older women. I didn't care about it because when you just never had any attention from women and you finally start getting it, you feel food. You feel like, wow, yeah, I've been looking for this, you know, for a very long time. This is really amazing. And yeah, right now I'm like 31 years old. I still trying to build myself up as a man. I still a lot of things to improve. Right, guys, when I just was 25 years old, I made the hardest decision in my life and I left Russia just to live somewhere else. And I'm talking about the USA because this is where I live right now. And even I've been to Asia, even I've been to like different countries, I didn't find myself there. But anyway, I used to train. It doesn't matter where I was. Because this is what I really understand, that if you have money, you can buy almost everything. I'm talking about the people's attention. I'm talking about like, you could buy the phones, the cars, like I don't know, the watches, the planes, like almost everything. But you never buy your body. This is how I can understand that this, this guy, he spent so much time building his body just because 
this is what you need to buy. I mean, of course, you can do some correction, go to surgery, you know, fix your nose, fix your ears or something like that. But you never build like a six pack or some muscles. You never grow it like this because this is what money never buys. Unfortunately or not, but for me, it was the reason why I just started going to the gym. Because again, I was like Richie. When I moved to America, I was like, okay, now my eyes are really open. I can see a lot of guys and they look rich, right? They have a lot of money. They make in the bank. They have the status. They look different. They're so confident. Even though know, they don't go to the gym, they're still feminine. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Maybe this is what happens here in California, in Los Angeles. But the more I travel across the country, the more people I've met that to look like a woman. I don't know, probably just for me. I'm talking as a Russian man. Like the guys here are sometimes way too feminine, way too kind, way too polite. And what I see is that women don't really like it. I mean, of course they say, you, okay, I'm not looking for a muscular man because masculinity is something toxic. I'm not looking for a very confident man. Of course I like confidence, but when he's like way too confident, I don't really like him. Who cares, right, about what she likes and what she is not? You need to build yourself up as a man. You need to stop caring about what people think about you. Stop chasing people and stop pleasing people around you just to get some attention, some validation. It doesn't make sense. This is why I'm saying that going to the gym is enough right now. Because if you just find some athletes, some like very high quality man, like high value man, you know, it's not enough because we would love them too. Because this is how I believe hypergamy works. You know, every woman, she is looking for a better man. Even the man has resources, even he has a status, even he has everything, sometimes it's not enough. The only thing you can do is just improve yourself every day. And yeah, this is why I keep saying that you need to chase your purpose. You need to chase your main mission. This is what turns a boy to a man, right? Because if you don't have any missions, any goals for your life, probably someone has it for you. If you work for a boss, if you work for a company, even if you work for yourself, you have a business, right? But your sexual market is very low than her. You're not going to win this game because women, they have much more option than you have. Every woman, you know, they have so many guys who keep you know, walking to her DM on Instagram, on Snapchat, TikTok or whatever. And she has a lot of, a lot of options. So why she needs to wait for you if there are so many guys who are way too better than you are? So this is why you need to go to the gym. This is why you need to make money. This is why you need to have a very big status. This is why you need to have a mission. Because women really like this kind of guy who has a mission. But don't care about, you know, the people around him who really focus on his things. But of course, if you ask a woman if she likes this kind of man, of course she tells you like, hell no, because this man is way too busy. But the thing is, you know, the reality is different. Because the guy who is very open, who is very polite, very kind to woman, she doesn't like him. You tell me why. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. If so, put it out, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Всем пока.